All right, all right. Grace, mercy, and peace from him who is and was and is to come very soon, I'm certain. This is Rogue Diabetic, and welcome to the Digital Wilderness. All right, so I'm in Facebook jail, so um, I can't comment or share this meme. But if I could, th this, is, this is what I would share today. Because th th this is me watching the left go from defund the police to support your local FBI. Which, I, I mean, the, the FBI is federal, right? It's not local. And it perfectly encapsulates the stupidity and the hypocrisy of the left. However, I do have to say that, it, that this is also me watching the right go from back to blue to fuck the FBI, right? It's the, it's the same hypocrisy. It, it's the same hypocrisy on both, on both um, sides of the political, of the left-right dichotomy, of the left-right par paradigm. And it pretty much it pretty much is like the way this has gone. I mean, really, for like as long as I've been watching this, as long as I've been watching politics, and I've been like I've been watching politics, and you know, I used to I used to like to play conservatives and liberals and Republicans and Democrats too. But it's like this is like it's got it's gotten so extreme now. The hypocrisy. The hypocrisy on both sides has got gotten so extreme. Like this kind of reminds me of back when, like, you know, the back in olden times when the after nine eleven, when the, when all the Republicans were unanimously for going to war with Iraq and Afghanistan. First Afghanistan, and then shortly thereafter Iraq. Even though they never really did connect Iraq with um, with nine eleven or or weapons of mass destruction, for that matter. This reminds me of when that when the right was like when the right and the Republicans were unanimously for going to war. And maybe half of the liberals and half of the Democrats. Remember Hillary? I cast my vote with courage and, co and confidence when she voted to go to war for Iraq. Then, like, then in 2016, all of a sudden Trump comes around and he's like, I was against the war. And then all the Republicans are against the war all of a sudden, right? And all the Democrats, all the Dumbocrats are defending Hillary. Even though even the ones that like claim to be like against the war in Iraq, all of a sudden they're defending Hillary for voting to go to, to, to war with both Afghanistan and Iraq. Right? And then Obama comes along. And we start getting our asses kicked by ISIS. And Trump's all like, Trump's all like complaining about how uh, Obama left behind, the Obama administration left behind 2,300 Humvees, 2,300 sophisticated military vehicles for ISIS when we left Iraq, right? He's complaining about that, and it's like 2,300. 2, 2, they, they like that number, that number 23. Right? And then Trump, Trump gets in. He doesn't pull out of Iraq. Or he, I'm sorry, he doesn't, he doesn't pull the rest of our troops out of the Middle, middle East. He doesn't, he doesn't get us out of Afghanistan like he promised to do. Right. And the Democrats are all like, oh, well, 
<laughs> we can't just precipitously withdraw from Afghanistan. So now all of a sudden the Democrats are for the war and the Republicans are against it. And then, and then dopey old Joe gets elected. Trump throws the election. And dopey old Joe pulls out of, 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 of Afghanistan and it's a disaster. And he leaves behind a brand new, the brand new Air Force that Trump built, built for Afghanistan. Now all of a sudden the Democrats are against the war and the Republicans are for the war. I mean, the, the hypocrisy on both sides of the left-right paradigm is just like in both sides of our political, our, both of our political parties, major political parties, is gone in, insane. It's insane. It's just whoever's guy is in, they're for, for whatever it is until he's gone. And the other guy is for whatever he wasn't for before, but is for now. Like, like, the, like, the, like the stimulus spending, like the reckless trillions of dollars of stimulus spending during the beginning of the pandemic. The Republicans were all about that. Oh, we have to. Even though we control the House and the Senate, and our dude is president, we can't, we can't, we can't say no. Because we might lose the next election if we do say no. But then when they lose the next election, then all of a sudden, then all, now all of a sudden, they want to be conservative again. They want, to, they want to act all of a sudden like pumping trillions of dollars or hundreds of billions of dollars into the economy is a bad idea. 40%. And I heard this before. I heard this before this last round of spending. This um, strip down, build back better. I can't remember what they're calling it now. They gave it a new name. But they're acting like this strip down, like like this strip down, build back better is um is 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 like reckless. Okay, and I remember, but, but before, but even before this, like last this last round of stimulus, this this last round of printing money and dumping it into the economy. Oh, it's the something about reducing inflation act. <clears throat> and yeah, they're right. Like that's going to reduce inflation. The Republicans are right. That's not going to reduce inflation. That's gonna, that's going to that's going to create even more inflation. Right? That's going to create even more inflation. And then <laughs> And then, but they're, but they're, but they're not going to acknowledge that they're the ones that that dump trillions into the economy. In the last forty percent of the cash circulating today, and it's not even paper anymore; it's air. It's numbers on a computer screen. Okay, forty percent of the cash that's circulating in the economy now has been printed since. The beginning of the stimulus. Or since the beginning of the pandemic. And that and probably at least 60, maybe 75% of that came from Trump and the Republicans. Now they're gonna be conservative again. Right? When they can't when they can't stop it. Not even if they're not even if they're they all unanimously vote against it. When they could have stopped it, when they could have stopped it, 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 it the, the, they could have stopped the CARES Act. Because they controlled everything. So anyway, that's it for today. I love you guys. So we'll, we'll finish up with some scripture. So this is Revelation 18, 2 through 9. 
And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every, every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double, according to her works and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore her plagues shall come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord who judgeth her. That's it, you might, that's it today, you guys. I love you. Come out of her. Repent. I'm out.